the resilience of this team showed again tonight. Just talk about the effort to stick with it. Even multiples was playing great, and that's just stuck with it and got a good result. Yeah, we. I mean, we we poured a lot in those first two periods. I thought their 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 goalie made some really big saves. You know, you're up one, but you feel like you, you could be up two or three quite easily. Uh, and you know, this is how it goes, right? You, you you're you're fairly dead on other than maybe about five or six minutes in the second. I thought for those first two periods, we, we played really well. Um, actually started the period fine. We had a couple of good shifts early, just missed the net, you know, and, and then back they score. And so they, they, they put a push on, you know, they came at us hard there for a good stretch of that third, but power play came through excellent shot there by Patty and uh, yeah, resilient. We got, got that power play and, and we made it, uh, made it work. One of those games where your goaltender they won up for you before Patty hit the shot. He was big for us in the third. I thought we were we were we did a real good job in front of him for a couple of periods there, and then they made their push, and he had to come up big for us too. So it was uh, it was it was you know real in there a bit, and then like I said, Elvis came up huge for us when we needed him and found a way to get the next one. What's confidence you guys get that? Yeah, three game playing streak here, five out of the last six. I think it's five road games in a row. Earlier, we were talking about how you guys took them on the road night. Now you're doing up. How much confidence are these guys gaining? Do you think? Well, it, it, you you got to be careful. You know how confident you think you are. Uh, you know the we talk about staying humble is real important. Um, I think more importantly, just you know how we're winning, how we're playing. I think the last five six games, I thought we've we've upped the ante on the physicality, competitiveness. Um, you know, even some of those games were down, we're playing the right way. Um, and we talked a lot about the, just that process, how important that is, uh, how you win and how you lose is important. So, you know, we're, you're, you're hoping we're going to, we know we're going here, Calgary. This is a team that some put up six on Vegas the other night. And that's a, a pretty good team. So, you know, we're going to have to be at our best here. And, and, uh, and we know what they did to us in our building. It was a, it was a tough night for us. So uh, enjoy the win tonight. And uh, we'll have a day off tomorrow, and then we're going to get back to work because we're going to have our hands full here in Calgary. Yeah. We talk a lot about how veterans kind of need to be veterans. They need to be your leaders, you know, at certain times. It feels like in these this win streak you guys got going, the, the, the recent games or whatever, it feels like a lot of your veterans are really stepping up and leading the way. Is that, how nice is that to see? Yeah, you well, you, you look around the league. I mean, you, it's – it's very rare that the, the bottom six are carrying your team. You know, they, they come through and they're important in the depth. There's, you know, I hope I say this right. There's no unimportant player, but there's certain guys that you look to every night and, and that we need to rise to the occasion. And especially on the road, and especially when we need a goal or a kill or whatever the situation is, that's why they're your leaders. That's why they're in, in those positions, making the money they do and play the minutes they, they play. So, uh, we're, we're no different than any other team. We, we rely on those guys. And, you know, whenever you get on a win streak, generally it's because of those guys are, are now they're, they're upping the ante They're They've got more competitive. I thought Bjorki tonight, you know, he, he scores early and, but let our team in hits, you know, he had five hits tonight and that's, you know, he's, he's more engaged in the game. And that's, we, we, that, that's a good sign for me when he gets engaged. I know he gets better. He does. He's just such a, tenacious player so you know hope there's more of it we know he can get streaky just like a guy like patty so we're gonna need those goals you want my to shoot obviously as often as possible especially in that situation how do you how do you get him open how do you strategize it so that he gets those opportunities well if we had the perfect solution to get open you know i think you see number eight in washington for a long time and teams know how good shots there so they they take that away so there's other plays we missed in the second period there and you know, Jack was wide open in the slot and, and Patty had stayed out in that power play and you saw their D cheat and he just misses it. And, you know, if he's ready, I, I think he's ready. It just was a hard pass, but because they cheated, it opened up Jack and, and we, we went bang, bang low and, and almost found him. So those are the plays you got to make teams pay for when, when they overplay a guy like Patrick. And, and so, but when the opportunity arises, like it did, it was up over and bang and, and a perfect shot. Good time for a couple from 40 and so Hey, Brad, how big of a factor, how much have you guys talked about being up and over 500? Was that a goal when you started to sag your over for the first time since January 1st? Oh, I, you know, really just, you know, we, we knew we got under 500, but really the goal is to just play well tonight. Uh, you know, you, 
we all know the record takes care of itself when you play well and you win games. So at, at this point, you know, we had some tough games and, you know, obviously we limped into the break there uh, against a team like Florida and uh, we had one practice and, and we had a lot of conversation, how we need to play, what, how important that is. So to come out and, and get a huge win in Washington and then Buffalo and then tonight sticking with it, you know, having a lot of looks there early, not get too frustrated, but found a way to win. That was huge. So um, great that we're over 500, but, you know, you can't take a breath in this league. We know what's coming. Again, we're, we're going into a, a tough building against a real, real good hockey team. So um, enjoy tonight. That's it. And you've had a front row seat for line A since he's been here. Uh, this is his longest point streak with you for sure. Have you ever seen him play at this level, a uh, front row for you? Best I've seen him. I think you can tell he's, it, you know, he, he's starting to get into that zone a little bit. Um, you know, when he shoots the puck, he feels like he can score. You can just tell it, how it's coming off the stick, even in practice. You notice it even coming out of the break, how he's, it, it's just, again, it, it, there, there's, they start to score and, and just things, things seem to start clicking. And, and what has come so natural to him for so long, you start to see it at the highest level in the game. And that's neat to see with a, a guy his caliber, how he can fire the puck and, and how dangerous he can be. So, again, comes through with a, with a huge goal uh, at, at a key time, obviously, late in the game. And, and what a shot that was. I wanted to ask you last question for me about Gavrikov and how well he played, but specifically a first period shift from him where he started a breakaway, started a rush anyways, not a man rush, and then was made a hell of an effort to get back and break up uh, the same for Montreal, just how good he was today. Yeah, Gav, he's, he's one of those guys that goes under the radar a lot. Um, he, you know, he, he, he's been here for a few years now, and it's a lot of, of Zach and when Seth was here, the talk, but Gav, he's a guy that we rely on a lot, and he is a hard guy to play against when he's on his game. He's quietly having a very good year offensively, too, if you watch his numbers. Um, He's got really good instincts that way, but you know his his bread and butter is how heavy he can be. How he shuts plays down. You know, we talk a lot about that competitive at the puck. He is the one guy that you know I used to call him the octopus when he played with Savvy. We was just talking to it here. You know, he had the lumberjack and, and the octopus, and yeah. man, they were you get him below the hash marks and he gets an arm on you. It's like he, he can't move. He's just a strong man. So, um, but he's got good legs. Like you said, he was up in the rush and he's back, and that's. That's something that people don't talk about. Uh, he's he's a he's a pleasure to coach. Let's put it that way. He's low maintenance. He comes to work every day. He's always smiling. Uh, he loves to be competitive. He's he's just a, he's a pro, and and he's huge in this game for us.